Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to go over what a MACD is and how you can use this for trading. MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. This is a trend following momentum indicator that identifies bullish and bearish trends. You can also use this indicator to identify entries and exit points. Here's what the MACD looks like. I'm going to break it down for you. That way you can understand how to read this indicator. The blue line that you see here is called the MACD line. And this measures the difference between the 12 period EMA, which stands for Exponential Moving Average and the 26 period EMA. The orange line that you see here is called the signal line and this measures the nine day EMA of the MACD line. Now when the MACD line crosses above the signal line, that indicates a bullish sign. And when the MACD crosses below the signal line, then that is a bearish sign. The green and red bar that you see here is called the MACD histogram. And this measures the difference between the MACD and the signal line. And lastly, in the middle, you have what is called a zero line. If the MACD crosses above the zero line, then this signals a bullish momentum. And if the MACD crosses below the zero line, then this signals a bearish momentum. Now, whenever the MACD goes above the signal line, the histogram will turn green. And when that buying momentum is increasing, that green color will be dark. And you can see right here, the green color was dark when Tesla was running. And that's because there was a lot of buying pressure. Now, when the buying momentum decreases, the green color will become lighter. And this could be a signal that the momentum might start to change. And you can see right here, Tesla did stop rising and then it started to drop. Now, when that MACD starts going below the signal line, the histogram will turn red. And you can see right here, the MACD line went below the signal line, indicating a bearish momentum. And when that selling momentum is increasing, the red color will be dark. And you can see right here, Tesla had a huge drop from that selling pressure. Now, when that selling momentum starts to decrease, that red color will become lighter. And this could signal a potential momentum change. Right here, you can see that the selling momentum started to decrease, followed by an increase of buyers. And that's why it became dark green. And if you take a look at the Tesla chart, it started to run up again. Now for the size of those histograms, this is determined by how big the difference is between the MACD line and the signal line. So here's another example using Apple. You can see right here, the MACD line crossed above the signal line, which indicated that the stock could go up. And then the MACD line went below the signal line, which indicated a potential drop in price. Now remember, this is a lagging indicator, meaning it only moves after the price moves. So don't just assume that just because the MACD line crossed above the signal line that it's a good time to buy. The MACD should only be used as a confirmation for your price action analysis. So here's an example. So let's say we're trading Apple. Now based on the price action, I can see here that it's been consolidating. The demand zone is from approximately $142 to about $138.27. And the supply zone is from approximately $152.50 all the way to $157. By the way, if you're not sure what a supply and demand zone is or how to identify these points, I created a video about this topic. I'll post a link in the description. Anyways, you can see here that the MACD line is starting to cross above the signal line, which indicates a bullish momentum. But if you take a look at the chart, we're now approaching a supply zone, which means there's going to be a lot of sellers in this price area. I would only enter this position after it breaks the supply zone. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens. You can see that it started to break the supply zone, which will now become a demand zone, meaning there's going to be a lot of buyers in this area but i would still wait until it pulls back before entering a position you can clearly see that the macd line is now above the signal line and the green bars are dark meaning the buying momentum is increasing so right here you can see that it pulled back and the macd line is above the signal line which confirms that this could be a bullish momentum this is when i would enter this trade the macd is staying above the signal line which is also a great sign here you can see that the macd started to drop below the signal line and if you're just relying on the macd then you might think that it's time to take profits because it's starting to show an increase of selling but if you take a look at the chart it's starting to move upwards again but the MACD is still showing a selling momentum even though the price is going up. This is why it's important to focus on the price action and not the indicator. And because it didn't break the resistance in the chart, the MACD stayed below the signal line. Now you can see that the momentum is changing based on how the price action is moving. The MACD is also staying below the signal line and that the dark histogram bars are now forming. And this is indicating that the selling pressure is increasing. Personally, I don't use MACD or any indicators. I trade primarily based on price action but it's still good to know how this indicator works. If you are using indicators, let me know which one you're using in the comments down below. I still recommend using price action first, and then if you want, you can use indicators second to confirm your analysis. All right, so just to recap on our example, I waited until it broke the supply zone, so that it could turn into a demand zone. I would then buy calls or go long during the pullback, anticipating that the stock was going to go up. I then used the MACD to confirm my analysis. And on the MACD, it showed a bullish momentum because the MACD was above the signal line and the green bars were dark, indicating an increase in buying momentum. And that's it. If you have any questions or requests, 
just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to reply. I'll be posting videos every week, so if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.